Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support always. By supporting me again in this video, just do me a favor and sure you like the video. I will appreciate you so much for that like. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for that like. Now, Kenyans, President William Samoe Ruto faces rising tension as abduction claims ignite civil outrage. Pressure is intensifying on President William Ruto as civil rights groups vow to hold him accountable for a spate of abductions and killings linked to anti-government protest that began in mid-June. The protest driven largely by young people dissatisfied with the states of governance have seen the government accused of resorting to a heavy-handed tactics of William Ruto, you know very well, including enforced disappearances. And so civil rights groups have start, they have started a movement and of course given a notice. At least 34 people were abducted and at least 61 others killed and buried. On the same note, Kenyans, the reason why I have written a title over 300 people dead is because 61 were killed and some of them have been buried and some of them were wapi kwa 34 of those who are protesting abducted. Then we are having another number. 247 unidentified individuals at City Mochari. Hmm? At City Mochari. But on the same side, William Ruto is claiming there was no abductions. There was no killings. Then I'm asking myself, Kenyans, is William Samoy Ruto right? Can someone please try to understand this man? Because yesterday, William Ruto said... Family. Any family that their child or their friend or their relative went to a demonstration whether it is last year or this year and never came back I want to know the names because I will take firm and decisive action because as I talk to you today I don't have a single name of somebody who has been abducted or disappeared so on Friday August 30th Several civil rights organizations declared their intent to present President Ruto with a comprehensive list of individuals who have disappeared or been killed during the protest. Because William Ruto is claiming, Akuna Muto Aliwawa, mm -mm. Akuna Muto Ali Abdaktiwa. But we saw in several videos, what wana finywa, wana shikwa, ujua na peleko wapi. Wale watoto wa university walikuwa na shiku wanatupo kwa maji. You know? Unawawa na unapatikana umetupo kwa kwa kwa. You know? So, this move, spearheaded by activists, Hussein Khalid, of Voice Africa, and Anami Tua, co-chair of the Mukuru Community Justice Center, reflects growing frustration with the government's perceived inaction on human rights abuses. The president is saying no one is being abducted. These organizations plan to deliver the list of the office of the president, the list to the office of the president on Tuesday, September 4th, pressing Ruto to investigate and address the reported violations that you saw during the demonstration. And so they are claiming they are going to take the president at his word and present thing and statement he said yesterday.
to add the list they are going to submit before William Samuel Ruto. And so he must address this issue of abduction and killings. So the civil rights groups demands either the release of those who are still missing, compensation to those who are killed during the demonstration. And so they are claiming that they cannot stay in a country where things are happening and it is evidential. But the government of the day will come out to see nothing has happened. So the civil rights groups demand comes just the other day. U.S. Secretary of the State, Antony Blinken, urged government to end practice of enforcement dis disappearance on International Day of the Victims of Enforced Disappearances. Those who are killed, those who are brutalized, must be served with justice. So Blinken's statement issued on X underscored the international concern over such human rights violations that you saw was happening during the, the demonstration. So according to Anthony Blinken said, we remember and we stand with the victims and survivors of enforced disappearances and their families. We call upon governments to put an end to the egregious practice and respect human rights. Locally, the Law Society of Kenya, LSK, has been at the front of calling out the government of William Samuel Ruto over these enforced disappearances. According to the LSK president, Faith Odiambo, she recently criticized Ruto's assurance that such incident will, uh, will cease, labeling his promises as smokescreen. Nothing was going to happen. That was the statement of the president of LSK, the Law Society of Kenya, Faith Hodiambo. But the question we are asking, as the court issued orders for the unconditional release of the abducted persons the other day by the Inspector General Police, have they done what they were ordered to do? Not really. And so, these orders have not been complied with. But the man, William Ruto, is saying, Kwa macho yake, na kwa list, ajaona wenye wamekua abducted, na wale ambao wamewao, ajui. So the LSK, Law Society of Kenya, concerns echo the broader anxiety of Kenyans, who have witnessed a surge in extrajudicial measures during the Genesis uh, protest. And so this uh, focal point of international and domestic scrutiny due to the government's alleged use of illegal arrests, abductions, and even killing to suppress the dissent, yani hawataki ile movement of people coming out to question them. So they are suppressing them yeah, to an extent of dissent. You know, you hold opinion against them. They face you. And so now they are claiming they are in the broad-based government. They are in the government of national unity. An inclusive government. But those who are killed, the justice has not been served. Those who kill those protesters. Has, they have not been charged. They are walking freely. You saw what happened during the demonstration. It is something that you cannot explain more. You saw in videos. Hmm? I don't even, I can't waste my time explaining. Because muliona watu wa kiabdakti, watu wana wawa, live on camera. Mutu wana pigwa risa sikichu wana pasuka. Brains ina mwabekuka town, pale town. You know. It was so pathetic and bad. 
So I think many people were killed. And according to the list that LSK and these society groups of Kenya are now demanding the release of abducted individuals. I believe more people are killed. If truly we can be we can be told that bodies were received at City Mushari, 247 of them, 247, unidentified in the period of demonstration. And 60 of them were also reported killed. Some of them were buried. Some are not yet to be buried. You can understand how pathetic it was. And anyone whom cannot understand this will come out to say nothing like that. Rubbish. But the reality, people were killed during the, the, the demonstration. They were seriously killed. When you were disappeared, you were not able to But the government is so quiet. So quiet. Now they are enjoying the so-called broad-based government. And you can't say anything. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till we meet in another video.